Freaking Channel, Walking on Water. In today's episode, we are going to talk about how I rig up Brad's cut plugs and Brad's killer baits for Chinook Salmon, Coho, Silvers, Sockeye, every type of salmon, Steelhead even in some cases, and obviously Kokanee with their new mini cut plug that's out. So let's get right into it. Please like, subscribe, and share. Let's get into it. All right, guys. First things first, as always, a non-slit mooching rig. Head over to my channel, Walking on Water. Like, subscribe, and share the video, but of course, watch it and learn how to tie up this non-slit mooching rig, okay? Unlike kokanee and a little bit shorter than salmon, more like a prawn setup, I like to have about three hook length hook lengths total in this mooching rig. So the base hook and then about a hook space in between the top hook and then my top hook, okay? So roughly about one inch of space in between the trail hook and the lead hook. So then we're gonna have a leader. Depending on what you're running it behind, I would go with about a 42 to 50 inch leader. The big 11 inch Pro Troll Flasher is probably around 50. And if you're gonna go down to a smaller Dodger, obviously you could downsize the leader um, to fit whatever Flasher Dodger setup that you are running. But the other ingredients that we have in front of us today for this Brad setup is Brad's, this is a medium sized cut plug. It is black and silver. I love these. I'm a landlocked Chinook fisherman and this seems to do the trick just fine. Now, I have five three millimeter beads and then I have just a standard snap swivel. So, I also have the rubber band for the back of the Brad's. And first of all, what I like to do right off the bat with every Brad's that I get, I take the padding out of the middle. Okay, so there's no padding left in here. We're actually gonna run a tuna, a brined tuna inside of this, maybe even a, a blended up herring or anchovy, but tuna seems to work the best. Uh, we can discuss how I brine up my tuna in later videos if you would like, but for this video, we're just gonna talk about how we go ahead and set up this brads. So, we're gonna take the our main line of our leader, we're gonna go all the way up to the top and we're gonna grab these beads. I'm gonna do two whites on the bottom, just like so. I'm gonna grab another bead, slide it on there. So there's two white beads on the bottom, okay guys? Just like that, second bead. Then we're gonna do a red in the middle. I like the, the red and white combination for this black and silver. I think it adds just a little bit of dynamic to the bait itself, but that's my personal preference just on things that I've ran before and that have worked for me. So we're gonna string that all the way down to the bottom just like so. So we have a non-slip mooching rig with five three millimeter beads, two white, one red, two white, and then we're gonna grab our brads, okay? So we're gonna wrap, grab our Brad, Brad's medium cut plug here, okay? We're gonna run it through the bottom of the bait to the top. So the small, skinny, pointed part is aiming down towards our hook because that is the trail piece that looks like the tail end of a bait fish. So we're gonna run that through there just like so. And then we're gonna run it through the, this big part right here as well, okay? It's like that, go ahead and pull your line through. Okay, we're gonna do this again. We're just gonna run through the big part. Go ahead and pull your line through. And then there's a small hole right here. And we're gonna run that line straight up through that hole, which is going to be just like the angle of the cut plug through the tall side, through the spine, into the short side, which allows this thing to spin perfectly in the water, okay? So we're gonna go ahead and pull this tight, just like so. We have a Brad's medium-sized cut plug rigged up and ready to rock. Only thing we're missing is the tuna, and we will talk about the tuna and how I brine up the tuna. How I like to put my tuna inside the Brad's though, 
I like to pack it in here pretty nicely. I like it a fine grain tuna. I like I like chopping it up a little bit so it's a little bit smaller. So you see these little slits down here in the bottom. When I'm working this brad through the water, I want some of that tuna leaking out with the brine on it so those fish get that smell and want to come up and crank this thing, okay? And then our knot that I'm going to use, I just do a, I just do the standard five wrap, I mean eight wrap knot. So I grab it right here at the base of this eye of this swivel, and then I wrap one the tag into the line around the main line eight eight times, just like so. Excuse me. And then I make a loop and I go back through the eye of the line, not the swivel. And then I just do a regular knot with that all the way as it's through the eye and then I pull it tight. So through the eye of the line and then make a loop through the loop and then just pull it down tight, nice and snug, just like so. And as you can see, you have a perfect wrapped knot, okay? Now, this is the Brad's cut plug and how to rig up the Brad's cut plug. This is a absolute Chinook salmon destroyer. These things kill kokanee. These things destroy fish in general. When they designed this, they knew exactly what they were doing and it makes sense to me because as you can see, Procure brine and bite right here. See that cut plug? That looks exactly identical and I do not see why that would just not absolutely kill fish in any water system that you are fishing for. Um, I know there's colors out there that do really well and I know there's out there, there's some out there that don't. But in our next video, we will discuss how to um, brine up and make the tuna for these Brad's cut plugs. So you guys will know exactly how to completely destroy salmon with the tuna and the Brad's cut plug. Thank you guys so much for watching. Like, subscribe, and share. It's been a pleasure.